Hey folks, how's everybody making out today? Hope everyone is doing well. Thursday morning here, 10 of 7. Uh, another early morning. Uh, some I've been waking up earlier than that sometimes. Just a lot on the mind and stuff like that. You know, it's that, uh, you know, everybody gets into them funks, I guess. Is that that's what you want to call it? Anyway, let's talk about what happened yesterday real quick before I talk about these pieces here. I just want to update you guys. Uh, it was quite ironic yesterday. My wife called around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Phone rang. I picked it up. She says, I'm on my way home. I said, why? She says, I said, it's not 5 o'clock yet. She goes, Pete, I can't. It's, I pulled a muscle in my back. And uh, I'm in so much pain. I got tears coming out of my eyes. She must have pulled a muscle. Um, so she says, I'll be home in a little bit. She comes home. Now she's um, like, she's get, she's got like a pinched nerve, right? So every time she moves a certain way, she screams, right? And I'm like, oh my God. I've had pinched nerves before and all that, but I mean, she really had it bad. She had the heat and pad on her back. She was taking ibuprofen 800s that I take for my back. Um, and nothing was working, right? And she's sitting there literally with tears in her eyes and she's shaking, her hands are shaking. And I'm like, what do I do? I'm like, if it goes on into the night like this, I'm gonna have to get dressed. I'm gonna have to take her to the hospital in the middle of the night, you know, I'm going to have to drive her to the hospital, get her in the car, at least get her checked out. You know, I can't leave her sitting here screaming all night on top of her lungs because she was damn near screaming. Um, So I'm down there in the middle of the night. It's like two o'clock, one thirty, two o'clock in the morning. And I we're up all night between the dogs. The dogs sensed it. They knew it. So they were rambunctious. Um... So I'm trying to take care of the dogs and I'm sitting there rubbing my wife's back, trying to massage with my thumbs. I'm trying to massage, massage the pinched nerve out or make it feel somewhat better. We couldn't think of nothing. To, just alleviate the pain. So, um, lo and behold, uh, I don't know what happened. We wind up getting a couple hours shut eye or something and now we're back at it. Uh, she's down there. Uh, she's actually working. She could not miss today. She's got a big, big meeting. So she's down there with pillows uh, supporting her back at the kitchen table on a computer. And she's got to go into a meeting uh, in a little bit. Uh, you know, uh, face that, that thing that you do talking through the computer, FaceTime or whatever. But she couldn't miss it. So, oh my God, what a night, what a night. I just hear screaming in my ears. Ah, ah, that's all I heard. Oh, screaming. I'm like, I'm, I was cringing myself when I heard her scream. I was like, oh shit. Oh man, it's always something around here, man. When, when we do it, we do it good around here. There ain't no way about that, man. When we do it, we do it good. So, what do we want to talk about today, besides what I just talked about for a half hour? <laughs> oh, my God, guys, help me. Um, I was laying in bed last night thinking about these. These are, let me turn it the right way, I guess. These are my case swayback knives. Now... I wanted to bring these out because I figured, I don't know how you guys think, of, what you guys think about this, but I wanted to bring out a couple of my case knives, patterns, I'm sorry, that are underrated and not talked about and that are just above the rest and they're, they just excel to the highest, right? So I got a couple patterns in there that I'd like to show you guys in the case family. But these here, and I didn't break them all out. Two is sufficient for now. I mean, I, there's no sense in me breaking out all my swaybacks. You see one, you see them all. This is the um, what? This is the double X one. This is the most um, 
it's got half stops, real nice half stops. Um, I forgot to get my uh, other blade to compare. I got a comparison. I Man, I forgot to bring it. This is the Swayback. Now, you might think that this is a small knife, right? And yes, it is small. It is a smaller knife. But the way it feels in your hand, guys, you get a full hand, four-finger grip in your hand. It's not cramped. The, it's so comfortable in your hand, you wouldn't imagine how comfortable this piece is, guys. Really, really, really. The blade is just absolutely fantastic. This whole knife, guys, is meant to excel and be a, I call it, a super cutter. There's not much, I mean, there is, but I'm just trying to get to the, a point here. There's not much left that you can do with this knife than just cut. If you need something that's going to just rip through things and just easily, you want an easy cut, this is your piece. You can see the blade stock thickness, how it comes down into that point there. You can see it. It's just try one, okay? I, I'm going to start showing you a few of these different patterns because they're not shown enough. They're not talked about enough. And there is absolutely no reason why these are not, people are not carrying these around. They are the perfect size. They fit perfect in the hand. They fit perfect in a slip. Um, if, you're, if you're carrying this in a slip, um, it, it's just, it goes into the slip just wonderfully. I just lost my train of thought for a second there. Now, this one is in, uh, they call this, um, oh, man, what do they call this? Cabernet. This is Cabernet Jig Bone. Now, guys, uh, I want to touch on this for a minute. Now, they sell these in a lot of different variants, right? You can get these in all different kind of flavors, the covers, and the steel too. Um, but I've never seen on any knife, this one might be a tapper as far as the jigging department goes. If you like a good jig bone, you're going to have trouble beating this one. This is, um, this is the most expensive swayback in the lineup. I do believe it's, 110. I want to say 110. The rest of them, like this one, I'm going to show you this one soon. I got to move on. Um, is like 65. The normal, um, like this guy. And this one is in chrome vanadium too. And it's cheaper. It's a lot cheaper. But you're paying the money. You're paying all that money for this here. And it's just more deck. The whole thing, it's just uh, stepped up a little bit. You know what I mean? It's just totally stepped up. But if you like jigging, look how deep, look how deep those rots and cuts are, man. I mean, it's just absolute beauty. That's what it is. That's why I love, this is why I love traditional knives, guys. This is the exact reason these pieces like this they are just, you can't find this in a uh, modern folder, right? How are you going to get looks like this in a modern folder? Come on, come on. But the blade is just absolutely, I mean, you can see how the cutting, you can see how you can cut with it. Pull cuts, look at the pull cuts, boom. You know it's going to go through anything. This true sharp is just guys it it's so sharp you could get that stuff so sharp i like true sharp i like chrome vanadium because they get so sharp so fast i can't get any of my other knives to get this sharp none of my none of my upper end knives okay i can get this sharp 
And I love it even more when I touch that edge. I'm like, oh my God. Show you this one. Same exact knife. Just you got a uh, red jigging on this one. And this, like I said, is the chrome vanadium steel. Right? Just a wicked, I mean, just a fantastic little piece, man. And I'm going to highly recommend it. I'm going to put this on my case knives recommendations, you know, for this pattern. The case sway back. Check them out, guys. Check them out. Don't let it go, you know. Like I said, you could get these for 65 bucks. This is the only one, the only one that is um, expensive. 110 bucks. This is the only one. And you can see. Now, if that don't give you, if that don't give you any kind of tingling down your backside or between your legs, then you don't have a heartbeat. Then you honestly don't have a heartbeat if that's not giving you a tingle. All right, guys, I think that's it for this one. I just wanted to give you a look at these. And I have this one out. Um, but just because I've been loving it, I've really, really, um, I've really uh, been enjoying this one. Um, this is my, uh, the lockup is so tight. This is the, uh, my Shetfield, handmade in England. Um but I've really, really been loving this piece, guys. I've I've become one with it. I really have. Uh, when I first got it, I wasn't really in love with it. You know what I mean? But ever since I've been carrying it more and more, oh, my goodness. I've been loving this piece, guys. In the hand, oh, man, this bone. This bone is just on another level. Look how it's just... I mean, they really, really do a, a fantastic job. These Sheffield knives are top-notch, man, as far as I'm concerned. And they're affordable. They're super affordable. C75 carbon steel on this one. Man, oh, man. All right. Let's 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 save that for another video. All right, guys. I'm going to let these go. Um... Who knows what today's going to bring, right, with the wife. She's down there working. I'm leaving her alone for now. Hopefully, she'll feel a little bit better today. Uh, sheesh. All right, guys. I'm going to let you go. Be good. Be well. Be safe. Be careful out there. Crazy times. Be careful of your surroundings, guys. Watch out what's going on around you. Take care now.